Hi, let's talk about Jadeite Genuine. Um, this is a Primatech color from Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. Uh, so this color, if my mom knows about this, um, she will kill me because it is made from real jade gemstone, jade. And for Asians, uh, jade is considered a very um, expensive and precious stone. Um, and like a jewelry made from a, a good piece of jade could cost up to a few thousand dollars or more. So I think it's probably unthinkable for her um, that we are using it for painting. But anyway, um, this color doesn't have any pigment information because it's a Primatech color, meaning they actually use a real gemstone. Daniel Smith used a real gemstone and they grind it down to make the color. Um, it has uh, it's semi semi transparent as you can see from the top here that it's slightly more uh, opaque so it covers up a little bit um, of the of the writing and if you use a you know um, if you wash it down dilute it it, it, it gets into a very nice uh, green color it has excellent light fastness and it's series four color I mean of course it has to be series four because it is made from a gemstone. Um, Staining wise, it's low, uh, medium low, so I could actually scrub it off quite cleanly. Granulation, yes, definitely. Can you just look at how beautiful it is? The water in paint, paint your water test. Can you see that it actually has got all these brown, dark, black, black, blackish particles? And then when you dilute it down, you get the really nice, um, I would say like a minty green, fellow green kind of color. So I think this color is beautiful. So you can actually use it um, if you have a big piece of leaf or some kind of like a pine, pine forest uh, or something that you, you really need to show um, that kind of a texture in a green color. This is, this is the color to use. So for mixtures, it can be mixed with the following colors to give you a variety of uh, colors. So for the blue, you get some of the turquoise color over here. With the yellow, you get these uh, very uh, vibrant yellowish green. And with the browns and pinks, you do have some kind of neutralization um, and that gives you the bit burnt umber, the, the raw umber color uh, or, or some darker color with the cadmium red. Similar colors I would say uh, would be um, from Daniel Smith series, the tear there. I think it just means green earth. Okay, it's pretty similar except this one is duller. duller. Uh, we also have the shrinky olive green, so this is a mixture. This color doesn't have so much granulation and this is cobalt green dark from Smirinki. This is a granulating color and the color is slightly more bluish tint. This is similar but that it's not the same, okay? So this is definitely a color uh, to, to have in your palette uh, if, you can, if you don't mind paying uh, that much for, for this color. So let's go and see how we can use this in actual drawing. Hi, so this is a drawing that I made using a Jadeite Genuine and um, this is a pub in London. I think it's London. It's called Yorkshire Grey. Um, and as you can see from the drawing, um, the painting, that the most of the shop is the deep green colour which I use Jadeite Genuine um, just on its own by itself without any mixture. All right, I didn't need to do anything and you can already see all this beautiful granulation. So if you have, if you want to do some kind of like texture this is what you can use you can just use a color like this um, and i did mix with a few colors of the blue um, probably for the shadow areas shadowy areas and with the green uh, sorry with the quinacridone gold um, i did mix and um, to give a little bit of this olive color um, for the uh, decoration the flowers and the trees and vegetation and the pink as well so for the i guess for the quinacridone rose um, it's probably all these shadow areas, all right? Yeah, and I also use gouache in this piece um, to give that kind of uh, the stained glass look and then also to, to paint the short name, okay? So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, this is a beautiful color to have. Uh, yeah, so I hope you stay tuned for the next one. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you want to see similar videos. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Thank you.